Yeah, it's SB ho. Yeah. SB though ho. Supreme beat. SB though. 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 Hey man, Malcolm Bad News Barnes. What do you do, homie? What's up, big dog? I appreciate y'all for having me on y'all show. Hey man, no problem, man. Thank you for coming, man. We 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 definitely uh thank you for coming, showing us some love and all. um. So yeah, man, we'll jump, we'll jump right into the interview. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm Cadillac Red. This dude shizzle my brother and shit. He gonna mm-hmm. give you. He, we try to stay. We try to hit you from both angles. So I'm gonna try to get personal with you. I'm gonna let him get the technical side. And we might flip flop, switch it up on you and shit. But uh, we we'll started off like this. You, we was just talking. Uh, you from Picayune, Mississippi, right? Yeah, I'm from Picayune, small city. Okay, okay, and that's right outside. You know, I'm from New Orleans. So that's right outside of uh, uh other city or whatnot, whatnot. So yeah, it's how right you... outside of, it's right outside of Slide Air, right next to Yeah. Town. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying all that. So uh how's uh how everything been? How how how's the city been treating you? I mean, I live in Atlanta but I've been out here. You know, I'm just out here in the city um uh, picking up my kids for the summer, so you know okay, it's, okay. due to due to COVID nineteen ain't nothing really shaking. All right, so let me ask you this about uh about COVID. How how's that uh how's that been going over with your training and everything? Uh, it's not affecting my training at all. I still go to the gym. I still run. I still got my same sparring partners. We like brothers. We live in the same neighborhood. So it's it's still it's all still a grind, you know. No man left behind on my team. I hear that. I hear that. That's that's one of the phrases that we got on our uh, one of the slogans we got with us is uh the niggas in your corner is everything. So. Right. Yeah, I could definitely understand that. Go ahead, Deuce. You got something for me? Yeah, man. Dude. Uh, my okay. first question to you, can you hear me? Am I, uh, like I've, been, I've been having to scream at the kids and shit. Uh, so my first <laughs> question to you is, who who or what got you in the box? Um, I grew up fighting anyway. When I used to get in trouble, my stepdad used to make me box my brother. And uh, Okay, okay. My dad forced me to take it serious, so... Yeah, I moved to Atlanta and I just I just been boxing ever since. So I grew up, I grew up fighting anyway. It was it was a challenge. I grew up beating up big kids and you know I was always I always stood out with. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So so uh, you you staying out there in Atlanta or Marietta or whatnot, whatnot. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go back to it. Which one better? You like you like New Orleans? The, the New Orleans flavor better or is it Atlanta been better for you? Atlanta's the best. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. now why you say that? <laughs> I mean I get I get I get more work in Atlanta. Um you know, I'm just connected with all the gyms in Atlanta. There's more gyms in Atlanta, so I get more sparring. You know, okay. we got a couple strength and conditioning coaches in Atlanta. And you know, it's just not like that in in the in Mississippi or Louisiana area. Yeah, that's that's facts though. That is facts. Go ahead, Deuce. You got something for him? Yeah. Uh. So, so what do you consider your style? Uh, I mean, I'm unorthodox. Like I can, you know, when I when I I look better when I fight better people. So, and I and I can adjust. I'm fast. I'm strong. You know, like water. Like water. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. No doubt. Dude. Okay, okay. Uh, so I see, I see that you three, you know, I see that your first fight was a TKO. You wanna uh take me back to that and how that happened? Oh yeah, um, I was sent to California for a, a, a paid camp, an eight week camp, but the my people ended up liking me, so they started working with me. They told me I could turn professional, and uh, I ended up getting with a little team and and uh. They had a fight matched up. They had a guy who wanted to do his pro debut. I wanted to do my pro debut. They matched us up, and I knocked him down. That was that was about it. Okay, okay. Uh, Deuce, you got you got some for him? Yeah. Since you just said that, you knocked him down. What would you consider your go-to punch? What you set him down with? Um, I set him down. I set him down with the two to the body, but. I softened him up with the jab to the body. Okay. All right, so you a body puncher. 
Yeah, I like that. I like all punches, but it depends yeah, on how yeah, your body yeah. looks. If, 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 if you look soft to the body, I'm going to the body. Yeah, they go that water again, right? That water. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Right, um right. um okay, so so you fighting at uh, at 126, right? Yeah. 126, oh. 130. I'm I'm in there. It's from 126 all the way up to 130. Yeah. Okay. And I, I like to say that it depends on if you take a shit or not. It, it, it <laughs> what weight you going to make, you know what I'm saying? So um do you have any fighters in the future that you're looking forward to fight? Uh I'm just looking you know, I'm I'm too early in the game to be calling people out, but I'm just looking to be in the top tier. I want to fight all the contenders. You know, I want to be up there competing with all the contenders. I mean, anybody can get. You heard you heard what AB said. Yeah, I'm basically you can, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, dude, you got stuff for? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's that combo? That combo you set up. You know what I'm saying? That you know is going to end everything next. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my man, my man, uh, Lazzy said he had the, uh, the, the body, body head. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's, that's by like me. I go to the body. It's either I go to the body with the left hook and end it, and end it uh, at the top with the left hook, body, head. If he don't go down, I add the right to it. But if he hurt, that left gonna take him down. But two to the, uh, hook to the body, hook to the head. The, the left don't take him down most of the time, yeah. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. If not, so, uh, I add the, the two. So, uh, I don't know if anybody brought this up to you, and if they haven't, I would like to be to say that on our show first, we brought it up. Um, I am a big fan of yours. Of course, you came through to show us love. The LDBC does have a residential boxer by the name of Marlon So Icy Sims. Uh, he's in Atlanta, and he fights at 126. I think that would be a big fight uh if you don't know who that is uh i would say y'all y'all definitely bound to bump heads with the with the type of talent that both of y'all have well we probably do i'm looking forward to fighting him i've never heard of him i've never you know i probably have heard of him but you know i'll be stuck i'll be so stuck in my grind nobody else yeah. knows me. okay okay yeah i think i think that it, uh that that'll definitely be a, uh a big fight that'll bring that'll bring the people out uh, in my opinion, because y'all two uh, are, are are the future of the of the lighter weight divisions, in my opinion. Um, you got something else you want to do? Uh, yeah, yeah. I got actually like two more questions for you. My first one, right, is I want to know, you know, what I'm saying your your best performance that you had in your eyes. You know, what I'm saying you know the fight that you felt like you performed the best in, and you felt like you was on your A game. I right, wouldn't be honest with y'all. I was proud of myself my last fight because. Um, you know, it was in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. He he oh, weighed yeah. in at 140. I weighed in at 127. Okay. You know? And That's then come cool. to find out, and then come to find out, he had a separate box rec with more fights on it. I found that out <laughs> after I fought him. So you know, they yeah. found 30 in Tijuana, but when dude came to the ring and they introduced the fight as 140, you know, yeah. I'm not thinking he he looked that big to me, but. Everybody, everybody like, man, that dude kind of big, you know. So I fought him anyway. Um, I had to adjust to his power in the first round, but I adjusted and I ended up punishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, you heard him. He, he the can man. Anybody can get it. He attended what yeah, 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 or Mexican can get it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Let me ask you, uh, top five, top five fighters of all time, not anybody that's current of all time. Who you got? Um, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Robinson, um, Floyd Mayweather. Uh, I'm a little guy, so I'm gonna pick little dude. Uh, I gotta pick Ali though, Ali. Uh, mm-hmm. So that's four. Um. I like Caleb Plant. I know it's I know it's early in the game, but I'm gonna yeah, say sweet Caleb hands. Plant. I, I can't end this video without because I've been I've been I've been studying a little bit of Caleb Plant and watching how he moves a little bit. But I like Caleb. Yeah, yeah, he I, I, he I, he yeah, okay, yeah, he definitely is nice, man. He definitely nice. Can't say he not, man. Yeah, um, I, I feel like I feel like he he one of the goats out there, you know, soon to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Deuce, what you got for him, dude? 
this my this my last question. The hardest you ever been hit and by who? Oh, my last fight. I, I don't know his name. I don't remember his name. You know he's Mexican, but he caught me in the first round. I had to adjust to his power. I had to box. I really had to box him. He was putting the pressure on me. Yeah. He was, he was working. You know what I'm saying? And when he hit me, it like it kind it like shocked me. Like damn, you know. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah, and I, you in there? You say I didn't. I, I, didn't, I I didn't expect it. Yeah. And he outweighed you and shit too. Yeah, I, I was expecting to go expecting to go in there and, and you know just demolish another bunk, but that wasn't the case. I had to pull out the skills for him and he had some power. All I just right. had to okay. stay away from him. I was moving to my right side to stay I was boxing him to my right side to stay away from his right side. Okay. He probably hit me the last three rounds, he probably hit me twice. So okay. Shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um um now, see what you got. You got three kids, right? Three sons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did how was it how was it being a, a boxing father? And do you want your kids to box? Uh, my kids box already. That's what they they called me down here from Mississippi. I mean, from Atlanta to Mississippi. I'm picking them up right now. We finna start our little training camp. Okay. Yeah, okay. they box already. Like my oldest is he ready to get in the ring? Like right now. He's nine years old. He's finna be ten, so he might have his first fight while he's down there. So, okay. Yeah. okay. If they open up and the first show, I'm putting him in there because he's ready. All right. <laughs> All right. That's how you get it. I hear that. And how and how is it being a boxing dad? Is it is it? Do you feel like that like the if sport takes away from being a father? Or do you feel like it's it's a beautiful thing? You able to mess it good? How, how you feel about that? Uh, you know, it got its pros. It got its cons. You know, sometimes, like, I was just in California. I wasn't able to just see when I'm in Atlanta, I can just get in my car and go whenever they call. But if if I'm when I was in California, I couldn't just leave like that. So, you know, that kind of hurt a little bit. So, but, you know, that's 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 a con. But the pros, like, I, I you know, my kids like boxing. Whenever they see me beat somebody up in sparring and beat, they call me like, Pops, I seen this clip. Pops, I seen that. Pops, yeah. I want to come fight for the summer. I'm ready to fight. That make that make me proud, you know. Right. That yeah. they want to be like me. I'm a fighter. If, if 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 it don't matter what your dad doing, you gonna you gonna respect what your dad doing. But if you got a dad that's a boxer, uh, everybody gonna be like, the kids gonna be like, oh, my dad's tough, you know. Yeah, he ain't as tough as my dad though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I bet you my daddy whip your daddy ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I call him right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and before we get out of here, let me ask you this: one. Uh, with the with the COVID situation and all that, how do you feel like this whole situation has helped your career? Because I know a lot of people say people here and there or whatnot. So how do you feel like you could turn the negative to a positive, and how do you feel like it helped you out? Um, I know some boxers out were out there slacking and not doing much, and I was still grinding. I mean, if y'all follow my social media. Mac Barnes 99 on all social media platforms. Uh, if y'all follow my social media out there, y'all see I was still grinding, still in the gym, uh, mostly at the track, hitting nicks, sparring. I'm doing it all, so I feel like a lot of a lot of fighters in my that's 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 fighting to my caliber. They're gonna have to play catch up. So that's the only. But the bad thing about it is that I would have been four or five and zero by now. So. But right. I look at it as a positive. Just give me a, more of a chance to get ready. Uh, uh, well, thank you for stopping through, man. Uh, we definitely oh, appreciate. Oh, I, I, I got one. Oh, you got another? You got another one? Okay, okay, you got another. Go ahead. Okay. How I many? I mean, you know, once once everything over and then you get back to business. You know what I'm saying? How many times do you even plan on fighting? Um, there's really not a set time. I just got with Freeway Promotions, man. Shout out to Team Freeway, man. We we finna come run over everything. We finna come run over everything. Shout out to Freeway Ricky Ross. Uh, shout out to Cecilia Robinson. You know, as quick as they can move me, I'm willing to work. You know, okay. if it makes sense, I'm gonna make that money. Go get it. Yup, yeah. yep, I hear that. I hear that. And, and I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Um, you know, uh, tell tell anybody how busy I'm gonna be. You know, if I'm just. I'm with the team, you know. I'm with whatever yeah. my team, you know, got yeah. planned for me. That's right. Okay. And, and 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 freeway sound like you know what he's doing, man. You in good hands with CC. So you know what I'm saying? And like we said, man, the niggas in your corner is everything, man. 
Uh, okay. yeah, you, shout you, out to you my FA One family, man. You, you right, definitely right. got you definitely got two fans with us. Uh, yes, for sure. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man, we we like to thank you for coming through. Uh, you said you got some, some social media for them. What, what you got? Yeah, I'm Max Barnes 99 on all social media platforms. Uh, I just want to tell everybody before I go, proper preparation prevent poor performance. You know, you gotta you gotta prepare in order to perform. Uh, determination, dedication, and discipline. We all need that. You know, and it's never too late. It's never too late. The grind. They said they said I was too old. You know what I'm saying? They said that I was too big. They said it, you know. They said it was too late for me, but look at me, I'm still grinding. Right. So right. Believe that. Believe that. So man. so so with that being said, you know when you get to the top, you gotta come back and holler at us, right? Oh yeah. yes, Lord. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Believe that. Don't forget about the little guys, you feel me? Yeah, nah, y'all won't be little. I'm prepared to do an interview every step of the way. Y'all I just gotta hit my people up. You know they with it. Yeah, all right, all right. All right, all right man. Yeah, man, bet that man. Thank you for coming through. You know what I'm saying? We definitely appreciate you. Uh, uh, Supreme Beast Boxing Talk, man. It's your host, Cadillac Red. Here with my brother. Deuce Dizzle. You know what I'm saying? And we, uh, got Malcolm Bad News Bonds. You know what I'm saying? Be on the lookout for him, man. Up, up and rising, uh, star. Believe that. 126 to 130, man. Y'all better keep your eyes open for it, man. Thanks back, man. For one, one more time, man. Uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll get back up with you. All right, one love. All right, one.